Our plant for the production of pharmaceutical powders in Kaliningrad has been on the pharmaceutical market for more than 10 years. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP for production, a unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions and extracts in a fluidized bed apparatus, rotary tablet machines, an automatic line for packaging tablets into plastic film, and foil and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. Last year our company started production of vitamins in tablets. At the first stages of launching the equipment, we faced the problem of cleaning and polishing the finished product. The problem was the following. In the process of pressing the tablet, as well as its subsequent movement from the matrix into the storage container, the tablet comes into contact with the remains of the powder. As a result, a dusty film is formed on the surface of the tablet. A colleague advised me to first contact the manufacturers of the equipment. They provide warranty service, drawings, instructions for use, carry out the installation of manufactured equipment. I took his advice. I chose one company online in Italy, which produces pharmaceutical equipment. I visited their website and wrote a letter in which I indicated the desired parameters and the capabilities of the machine. I did not indicate a specific machine, I wanted to see what they could offer me. A week later, I received the reply that they did not produce such machines specifically, but could design and produce them, if requested by the end of next year. That was too long for us, so I decided to look for other equipment producers. I found a company online from China, that produces equipment for cleaning tablets. I called them, and asked if they could supply similar equipment with the necessary parameters. They answered that they have such a machine. The manager asked for my phone number, and said she would call me back in the evening, when she checked with her company engineer about the capabilities of automatic equipment. However, she did not call in the evening. I contacted them the next day. The manager said that she had passed the request on to the design department, and that she would contact me, when she got an answer. This seems strange to me. When do I wait for an answer? How long to wait for an answer? This was not a business-like approach to the customer at all. I refused to look for cleaning and polishing equipment on my own. And then I remembered that at the Forum of Producers of Equipment for the Pharmaceutical Industry in Moscow, I met a specialist who was engaged in selection and supply of equipment for production of medicines. I found his business card, and before contacting him I decided to check whether he really engaged in the supply of machines for the pharmaceutical industry. In order to do this I found his company's website and carefully studied the information on it. I liked that the website was up to date with video clips of the equipment and many contacts for communication. I also noticed that the website had been around since 2003. The company had been on the equipment supply market for a long time and that is a good reason to say that it was successful. I called the manager. He said he remembered me and was happy to hear from me again. I told him that I was looking for automatic equipment for cleaning and polishing tablets and gave him the specifications of the machine I wanted. He suggested a machine option that was popular with customers and proven in production. I agreed to consider it. The manager emailed me the passport and instructions for use of the equipment. He also offered to perform the procedure of turnkey delivery. I liked the proposed version of the equipment and I agreed it with the management. A week later we signed a contract for the supply of automatic equipment for cleaning and polishing pills. A month after signing the contract the manager called me and told me the equipment was ready and a week later it was delivered. The automatic machine was compact, as I wanted it to be, with simple and convenient controls and airflow rate control. The plastic body is equipped with a system of hoses for the compressed air inside. The dispenser is equipped with a design of 10 perforated plates, cleaning and polishing 200,000 pills per hour. The management, myself included, were pleased with the proposed automatic tablet cleaning and polishing machine. I realized that I had made the right choice of an expert to supply the equipment. After contacting a real professional, I have become a bit smarter myself, learned a lot, and am absolutely convinced that a good teacher is the one whose words and deeds don't differ. I checked it out on my own experience.